You're watching WALB News 10 Sports with Morgan Jackson. It's been an exciting week in Titletown. On Thursday, the Valdosta State Blazers hosted their Gulf South Conference opponents, Shorter University, where the Lady Blazers sent their 12th straight victory. Victoria Akinoso had a big night that night, going 7-for-7 seven seven from the field. Today, they're back at the complex, looking to make it 13th straight on holiday weekend as they host the lead Lane. These two teams met back in November, where Valdosta State lost by just six points, their only conference loss of the season. But like I said, a win tonight will make it 13 straight for the Lady Blazers and give their head coach, Coach DeAndre Scrimmer, her 100th win as a player. The red and white coming out blazing hot. Khalifa Ford with back-to-back -back buckets. The second one from downtown. BSU up 11-2 with 3.59 remaining in the first. Tamaya Francis spots Lily Long on the wing for the triple, and the three is good. The Blazers are on fire, nine beyond the arc for BSU tonight. They outscored Lee 24-4 at the end of one, and from there, it was no turning back. Alicia Curry having her way down low, and one counting the basket and the free throw. Four Lady Blazers finished in double digits. Curry led the way with 18. Khalifa Ford, 14.7 rebounds. Tamaya Francis put up 13, and Taylor Searcy added in 10. The Blazers put out the Flames 80-50, claiming their 13th consecutive victory and Coach Shermer's 100th win as a Blazer. I always, this whole week everybody's been talking about 100 wins and my focus was on we need to make sure we come away with a sweep week, we need to make sure that we win both games and one thing that we talked about is we wanted to send a message and we didn't just want to win the game, we wanted to dominate from tip and I couldn't be proud of our group of how we executed and how we were able to do that. Dominate is exactly what the Lady Blazers did, getting it done on both ends of the floor. Their defense held Lee one of nine from the field, zero of five from beyond the arc, and four six turnovers. The win improved Coach Shermer's record to 130, 76, and 19 in Gulf South Conference play in her fifth season with the red and black, making her the fourth coach since 1974 to achieve 100 career wins in the program and the third fastest coach to win 100 games in just 130 total games. With the big win, Coach Sherman and her squad improved 16-2 and 13-1 and in GSC play. Right now we only have two losses on season and that's one of them. So we really felt like it was kind of a revenge game. We wanted to show how much better we got from the first time that we played them. And I think, I think we did a good job of that. We just take it one game at a time. The mess, most important game is the next game. And we'll be geared up for that next week. We got a big road trip and we're headed to uh, Mississippi and we're ready to go get those wins. After dropping four in a row, the Valdosta State men's team hopped back in the win column Thursday night with an 18 point victory over Shorter. They were looking to build on that tonight and got off to a good start, seeing a lead as big as 10 in the first half. But the Flames fought back, cutting the lead to three at halftime. The Blazers tied things up at 49 midway through the second half, but that was followed by a 10-2 run by the Flames. DSU closed the gap 62-59 with 3.11 to play. The Trail Tate led the team with 24 points, three triples, and Braxton Williams added in 15, but it just was not enough. The Blazers shot 38.6% from the field, shots just not falling like they needed to late in the game. Lee outscored VSU 35-22 in the second half, handing the Blazers their 11th loss of the season, 68-61. Coach Helfer and his squad moved to 7-11 overall and 4-10 in GSC play. Both the men's and women's team will hit the road to travel to Mississippi to take on Delta State and Mississippi College. Reporting from Titletown, I'm Morgan Jackson for WAOB, your hometown news source. And now let's take a look at your up-and-coming fishing game forecast. Your peak times are 11 o'clock a.m. and 10.40 p.m.